Have you ever wondered about the rich tapestry of history woven into the heart of South India? Nestled in the state of Karnataka, Mysore or Mysuru as it's officially known, has a story that's as vibrant as the silk it's famed for. Our journey starts in the ancient times when Mysore was known as Mahishuru, a nod to the mythical demon Mahishasura, who according to legend was slain by the goddess Chamundeshwari. The city's historical roots are embodied by the Chamundi hills under whose shadow Mysore thrives. The city's lifeblood, however, began to flow in earnest in the 14th century with the establishment of the Wadiyar dynasty. The Wadiyars were visionary rulers who laid the groundwork for a city that would become a beacon of culture, art and architecture. The kingdom prospered under their rule, attracting scholars, artists and craftsmen from far and wide. Their patronage of the arts led to a flourishing of music, dance and literature in the royal court. Mysore's iconic palace, a testament to the city's rich heritage, stands as a symbol of the Wadiyar's legacy. Its intricate architecture and vibrant paintings draw visitors from around the globe eager to witness its grandeur. The city saw a significant shift in power in the 18th century with the emergence of rulers such as Hyder Ali and his son Tipu Sultan. Known as the Tiger of Mysore, Tipu Sultan was a force to be reckoned with, a leader who ushered in an era of economic growth and technological innovation. Mysore's story took a dramatic turn in the late 18th century. After a series of wars known as the Anglo-Mysore Wars, the city was consigned to British control. However, far from fading into obscurity, Mysore adapted and thrived under its new rulers. The city became a bastion of colonial architecture with its palaces and buildings reflecting the blend of local and colonial aesthetics. In the heart of the city stands the Mysore Palace, a testament to the city's royal pass. Built on the site of the former Mahishuru Fort, the palace is a symbol of the city's resilience and its unyielding spirit. With India's independence in the mid-20th century, Mysore became part of the new nation, carrying its rich history into the modern age. Today, Mysore is a city that's known for its cleanliness, its thriving industries, including silk production, and its unique blend of tradition and modernity. To summarize Mysore's journey from an ancient city named after a mythical demon to a bustling modern city is a tale steeped in history. From the establishment of the Wadiyar dynasty, through the rule of Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan, to the British control, and finally, to being a part of independent India. Mysore has witnessed a series of transformations, each adding a new layer to its rich tapestry. And the city's resilience, adaptability, and enduring spirit have been its guiding lights, helping it navigate the winds of change while retaining its unique identity. So, the next time you think about Mysore, remember it's not just a city, it's a living testament to the passage of time, a story of resilience and transformation, and a celebration of the enduring spirit of India.